All right, now we have the crisscross blocks. Um, this is a conjugate, I believe, whatever. You know what? Uh, it's pretty good. Crisscross is easy to recognize. Rarely mess this one up. X prime R2, D2, R prime U2, R D2, R prime U2, R prime. Now, the double blocks, um, front block, back block, is a bad case. I think the wiki might actually call this one the worst case ever, but um, it's not that bad. Just take some patience. <laughs> um, R, U prime, R prime, U, F prime, U prime, X, U2, R prime, U prime small l uh, u small l prime u r u prime it. next we have probably the case everyone knows from the other angle but for the purposes of CLL it is much easier to recognize with the headlights to the back um, these are diagonal cases uh, I think of messing up this one when I do it so this guy is going to be messing it up with the left side this one's going to be messing it up with the right side so diagonal slant there we have L2 D L prime U2 sorry L D prime L prime U2 L prime and of course the mirror to the right side R2 D prime R U2 2 R prime D R U2 R. Next we get to the case that nobody wants to learn, which is soon or soon. I'm going to pronounce it soon because that's what most of the world does. We use the same stickers as we do for um, T and U. Uh, the oriented corner will go here. Uh, if it were anti soon, it would be there. Uh, you can't confuse it because we have to use this front sticker. Both front stickers here and these two back stickers for recognition. Uh, the base case here is block to the left. Um, easy, I mean, R prime U2, R, U, R prime U, R. The reverse of that is block to the right, or block on top of the fishy's head. That fishy is not happy. Um, we have U prime. R U R prime U L prime U R U prime L U two R prime. And next case is maybe the first algorithm you guys ever learned. Um, besides sexy move, <laughs> it's Niklas. Uh, this is the fishy. It eats through one end and poops it out the other. So, I think this is the fishy case. Fishy case. Um, if you want to think of it differently, it's the diagonal block that includes the oriented, or the diagonal sticker pair that includes the oriented corner. This one is the diagonal block, or diagonal sticker pair, that does not include the fishy. In fact, this one I think of as cutting the fishy in half. Poor fishy. This one's nice and easy. Anyway, U. R U prime. L prime U, R prime, U prime, L. It's Niklas, you guys should probably know that one already. Um, this is the dead fishy, or the nasty little case there. I use my own stuff for this one. Some people shorten it, well, you know, whatever. U prime, M prime, X prime. So that's the same as, uh, what is that? R, E. L prime, I believe it's in the back, so it's not, whatever. I do U prime, M prime, X prime, U, L prime, U prime, R, U2, L, U2, L prime. Alright, these are the two cases where you consider giving up learning soon and anti soon, but they are usually worth it. Um, if anything, 
again, they make your PLL step look insanely good. This is the double block. We have this pair here and a pair here. Um, R, U, R prime U, R, U prime R, D, R prime U prime, R, D prime, R2. And then probably the worst case, which is the X fishy. Yes. Yes, I said it. The X fishy. Uh, this is basically a, an R permutation, but when we compare it to the speed of your other COLs, this is a sucky one. Or, speed of your other soon CL, oh, C -O -L -Ls. God, I can't talk. Anyway, U prime. L, U, L prime, U prime. L, F prime. L prime, U prime. L, U. L, F, L2. So, it's basically your R permutation there. Next is anti soon, which, as you may imagine, is just the mirror of soon. Um, I'll just go through them quickly. The left block, which, if you think of it, it's the opposite to the fishy. It should be the base case from the other one. Is um, u r prime u prime r u prime r prime u two r, and then the in, uh, mirror of the block on top of fishy <laughs> is u l prime u prime l u prime r u prime l prime u r prime u two l prime, and then we have the anti soon version of Niklas, which is the feeding fishy, goes from the head to the ass, yeah, whatever. Uh, u prime l prime u r u prime l u r prime. Then we have the dead fishy, so the sticker pair across there, which is u m prime x prime. U prime R U L prime U two R prime U two R and finally we have the mirrors of the bad cases the double block which is mirrored of your other one L prime U prime L U prime L prime U L prime D prime L U L prime D L2. And then the dead fishy with the X's. Or, no, I'm sorry. Did I call this one the dead fishy? I think of multiple ones as dead fishies. Okay. The X marks the spot one. Pair here. Pair there. Then it's going to be an R perm thing. U. R prime. U prime. R U. R prime F. Sexy move. R prime. F prime. R2. And now we get to my baby of a case, I guess. L. Um, I spent so much time trying to find a good L recognition system, and no one had it. I think no one had what I wanted, which was recognition from the top two visible stickers and, if possible, the front two visible stickers. Uh, I believe Jason Baum, Darren Harris, look at this sticker. That requires a cube rotation. I didn't want to deal with that. So I made my own recognition system, and uh, unfortunately, not every case has sticker pairs to look at. And even those that do have sticker pairs, you're not necessarily looking at those sticker pairs. It's a bit confusing. These two are the only cut and dry cases. I'm sorry. Uh, so you have four stickers visible, two on top, two on the front. And uh, the two on top are the same, so sticker pair. Then we check their relationship to this one. You know, orange is opposite to red, so this is the opposite case, and I'm right-handed, so the opposite of right is left. It's the opposite case. Genius, huh? L, U2, L, D, L prime, U2, L, D prime, L2. Uh, same is true for this. We see that these two are the same. Check the relationship to that one. Notice it's adjacent. Uh... That means it's right-handed. So, U. R prime, U2. R prime, D prime. 
R U two R prime D R two. All right, these are the four hardest to recognize COLs of them all. Uh, this guy and this guy do not have sticker pairs. I originally thought I would be recognizing L with sticker pairs, but these two threw out that possibility. Um, these two, I guess, are the most similar, so we'll do these first. Uh, you can look at the top two first, or the front two first, or whatever you want. Uh, if you look at the top two first, we're checking for opposites, or the same. Um, these two are opposite. The front two are also opposite. Um, if we're checking for opposites, then this guy is also opposite, but this one is a pair. And it's kind of complicated how they all interact, and how I think about things. Um, but basically, I check opposites. I see opposite colors. Blue and orange are op uh, blue and green are opposites. Red and orange are opposites. I see that, and I know the algorithm, which is what is that? X R prime U prime L prime U R U prime L U. Um, reverse of that, I guess, is but these two are adjacent, and these two are adjacent. So. It's an X of an opposite. These two are opposite, and those two are opposite. And I recognize this one based on the fact that it's not any of the other cases. I don't know if that makes sense. It's still recognized quickly, but it's awkward to check that relationship and that relationship. And it's, it's just a weird case. But it works, for me at least, um, if you're really picky these two stickers are the same. <laughs> but, um, L prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R prime, no, that's L, R, U prime, R prime. Now these two do have sticker pairs, um, and actually it is on the top front sticker and this front right sticker. Um, if, we're, if you see a sticker pair, immediately check its relationship to this back sticker. If it's opposite, then that means that this is a... That's X, U, R, what is that? D, R prime, U prime, yeah, R, D prime, R prime. Sorry about that. And if these two, these two are adjacent to that sticker, that means that these two are opposite. So again, we can sort of check for opposites there too. Um, then we have the triple soon. R U R prime U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R U two R prime. So don't get frustrated. Learn them. Uh, some of these are useful for 2x2, two two, some of them are not. Uh, some of them are useful for corners first method, method, some of them are useful for Roo. Others, there are more optimized ones, but COLL is your stepping stone to ZBLL. And it is also a great way to do the last layer. I mean, you get a free PLL skip every 12 times. Um, yeah, for the record, uh, you get an H permutation, 1 out of 12 times after COLL. A PLL skip, 1 out of 12 times. Z PLL, 1 out of 8 times. And each of the U uh, PLLs, 1 quarter of the time. So, you're left with your fastest PLLs. You're not spending that much more time on OLL. And your last part of the solve just looks absolutely sexy. So, learn it, use it, spam it. Blame me. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching.